story tonight, the new push to help people and businesses around the state struggling because of the coronavirus. Today, we saw the biggest single-day surge in cases here in Washington. There are now at least 1,187 confirmed cases across these 22 counties. And 10 new deaths were reported in King County alone. That brings the state total to 67 people who have died. Today, the governor announced new measures to address the economic hit from the coronavirus. That includes a 30-day ban on rental evictions, eliminating wait times for unemployment, and promising millions in grants for small businesses to prevent them from closing. The governor also left open the possibility of a shelter-in-place order. And Cairo 7's Michael Spears begins our team coverage live in Seattle tonight. Michael? He's recommended elderly folks do it, but he has not ordered it. Tonight, with businesses forced to close, this one behind us shuttered. Some tonight are asking why we're not doing what the Bay Area has ordered. It's not the picture of social distancing we've been asked to practice. A crowded waterfront on a brilliant Northwest day. But it's not okay. to get too close. For some, like Owen, the coronavirus was still top of mind. Not touching anybody or anything, not going into any place to eat, just breathing some fresh air. But the sight of busy parks and trails while some businesses are shuttered has Governor Inslee answering questions about whether to pull the trigger on a shelter in place order to slow the spread of COVID-19, like the mandate now in place for millions of people in the Bay Area. We're getting close to that call. Listen, that is a futile uh, thing to think about. Uh, today we're making decisions to help people in their economic conditions. The governor said right now his focus is on new financial safety nets to help the thousands of people no longer working like Sarah, who recently had no other choice but to apply for unemployment benefits. It's really stressful trying to worry about the bills that I still have coming in with no money coming in. But some have turned the conversation on the governor's Facebook page into calls to do more than just advise people to stay home. We can't just try to speculate what may happen 30, 40, 60 days from now. Now, people in the Bay Area under that mandate, they can't get fresh air. It's not a total lockdown. However, folks here tonight who would like to see that here hope it would make more people here take social distancing more seriously. We're now reporting live in Seattle on Michael Spears, Cairo 7 News.